The former combatants expressed these sentiments at Andeshifilwa village where they held their first ever meeting since 1990. The aim of the two-day gathering was to reunite former plane combatants as well as other veterans of the liberation struggle and strengthen their ties with the ruling party. The two-day event was presided by a closed-door meeting with SWAPO Secretary General Sophia Shaningwa and Lieutenant General Sebastian Deitunga. Addressing the gathering, the group's founding member, Matthias Johannes, says the get-together had no ulterior motives. We will never compromise the security of this country. We fought for this country and we will therefore never put our efforts in jeopardy. We are law-abiding citizens, and the sole reason for the formation of these groups is really just to unify us, and so that we identify those that are still to benefit from the various incentives and advance for the acceleration thereof. One of the requests brought forward was for plane fighters to be recognized as one of SWAPO's affiliated wings. Shaningwa promised the group that their request will receive priority. We are under a frustration. I put the Comrade Secretary General. The people are talking because there is a frustration. I have heard and I have recorded my messages and the messages that we have said. I have taken note of what we have said. I'm going to report back. But we need each other, and I will make sure that I do the coordination through the right structures, that all the representatives come together to iron out all the predicaments that we are fighting for and all what we want to be arrived at, though not everything will be sorted out the same day but when we have started we have started to do justice to what we have said the group also laid the wreath at the shifilwa memorial site where 21 plane combatants were killed and buried in april 1989 ndapandashuya nbc news on the shifilwa village